So Des Bryant tweeted a couple of days ago that James Washington would be a Dallas Cowboys. Now, I didn't take it too, too seriously because it's Des Bryant tweeting things on Twitter. But I did take a little bit of time to watch some film and familiarize myself with the player just in case the news came true. Well, the news came damn true. So I got a handful of things written down about James Washington that I would like to share with y'all, okay? But stay tuned to the end of the video because we're also going to talk about just some big picture things in terms of his fit with the Dallas Cowboys. But before we do that, we have a word from our sponsor, Manscaped, the leaders in below the belt male grooming, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. They have the lawnmower 4.0. Wireless trimmer, advanced skin safe technology, ceramic blades. So when you're down there cutting all that grass, you don't cut nothing that's important. You only get rid of all the bad stuff. There's an LED light so you can shave in the dark, and it's waterproof so you can shave in the shower in the dark. But don't get your ass out that shower because Manscaped got something new. I call it the the wet goods package, but it's the ultra premium collection on the website. Make sure you look for that ultra premium collection. This is your collection of shower goods, right? Two in one shampoo and conditioner body wash deodorant you got this hydrating body spray it's like a lotion but it's a spray you know what i'm saying top tier stuff and you get the complimentary manscaped lip balm but if you're not rocking with that stick to old faithful that good old performance package with the weed whacker which is a nose and ear trimmer ball toner ball deodorant and if you order that you get a free pair of Manscaped boxers in which I wear as my lucky draws and you get a free travel shed bag to keep all your goodies in. You understand? This is what I want you to do. Go to Manscaped.com. Vach says this. You order everything over there and use promo code VACH20 at checkout. Discount code VOCH20 to get 20% off and free shipping. Manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Let's get into some film, y'all. So we got James Washington, former Pittsburgh Steeler, former, former Oklahoma State Cowboys. So kind of makes sense why Dez Bryant was in his business. And it kind of make a little bit of sense, um, you know, that he's a, a, a cowboy getting back into his cowboyness. Um, I think James Washington is a very cut and dry player. Okay, not to call him a bad player, but I just think he's very cut and dry. He's just what he is. And I think he's a deep threat, which is interesting that Cowboys have been kind of waiting on that deep threat kind of guy for years, right? We always talk about we want more speed. You know, we want uh, we want to be able to take the top off of the defense, right? He's going to need a new number because Gallup is 13 and he just got big money. Um, but James Washington being that guy that takes the top off the defense, that's kind of his job. That's what he did in, um, in Pittsburgh. Even here, take a look at this play. And he can win deep in either direction. It could be going over the middle towards the post, or it can be, uh, you know, towards the, you know, towards the fate. You know, whatever works for you. James Washington is that, you know, if you're in single high, if you're in cover zero, it's it's man coverage. You don't have safety help. Then nine times out of ten, you know, it'll be a good idea to take a shot with James Washington. And, you know, he was always that guy, you know, even in even in Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, pardon me, at Oklahoma State, um, you know, they they did the the Big 12 thing or whatever, throwing the ball all over the yard. And that's the kind of guy he was. He was deep threat guy. But one thing that um, stood out to me to uh, in, in James Washington's film in college in particular, right, because I know more about James Washington coming out of Oklahoma State. But it's interesting to see that this trait still carries over into the National Football League. Um, he's he's deep ball guy, but he always was was contested catch guy like he would always make these tougher catches which is very interesting because i think gallup is another one of those characters um but he tends to make these uh make these catches catch these passes with people draped all over him right and i'm watching james and i'm like man why didn't james get a lot more production um in in in, in Pittsburgh, right? And it's, it's a lot of things. You know, Pittsburgh have a lot of receivers that can play. Um, plus, Ben Roethlisberger was only good for one year when he was there. You know what I mean? Like, he was good in 2019, and then the other years, Ben was bad or Ben got hurt or something like that. So, we didn't really get a chance to see James at his full, full potential. Just another example, in case you didn't believe me, James Washington at the top of the formation, right? Getting that getting that flanker business going. And, you know, like I said, we're we going to have a long discussion about this, but um, consistently making deep catches with you know deep catches with guys over them. but they don't always have to be deep catches they can be like shorter catches you know with guys on them here's an example here some red zone work right james at the at the top of your formation it doesn't have to be like a deep ball all the time it could just be like a simple dig it could be like a 10 yard out it could be a slant it could be whatever um he makes those catches with guys draped on them and taking big hits so i 
think that's that's going to be important for you know for Dak Prescott. By the way, that's that's very Dak friendly um, to be able to secure those hands. And just one more quick thing that I wanted to say about James Washington is uh, he's kind of like a yak guy, right? Like he's not a full blown like C.D. Lamb type yak guy, or he's not like a uh, like I'm a. <laughs> Okay. Not like a CeeDee Lamb yak guy or like one of these Tyreek Hill type dudes or whatever, but he does bring some yak value uh, to your offense, right? Just being able to catch the ball and do something with it. This play was hilarious, and I do think it's it's sort of an anomaly or whatever in terms of I'm going to hit the Dak Prescott on Josh Norman stiff arm, the Derrick Henry stiff arm. I don't think that, that don't happen a whole bunch, um, but in terms of being a, like a speedier type guy, he does get busy in the yak department. So let's talk about James Washington, right? Now, the the, the Cowboys haven't really signed like big name free, agent, free agents or anything like that. But just because guys aren't big name guys doesn't mean that these players aren't um, capable of doing a job or that they're not serviceable or anything like that. I think James Washington is not an Amari Cooper replacement. I think that CeeDee Lamb is supposed to be your Amari Cooper guy. Gallup is going to be Gallup. So what you need James Washington to be, in theory, because we could just rotate that third receiver, right? It's not a wide receiver by committee because we actually have a number one and a number two, but it could be third wide receiver by committee. Like I showed you some, some film of James working inside, working the flanker, right? If C.D. Lamb is going to be your full-time X receiver, uh, the guy that's off the line of scrimmage or whatever, if he's going to be your 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 full-time that, then these other guys that's that's on the other side of the line of scrimmage that's all wide, they need to be able to get off the ball. They need to be able to um, beat press coverage. You know what I mean? And you know, with James, he he has the ability to 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 play that, but also get busy from the slot. If he's going to be like a like a fasty you know deep ball guy from the slot, then we're going to see him run them, run them seams a whole bunch. If we're going to see him on out side that we're going to see him get vertical run those phase and stuff like that um what's his route tree looking like is not the best but hey it ain't it ain't gotta be you know what i mean just just hey do we ask you to do do your job and catch the ball now do i think this stops us from drafting a wide receiver in the draft i don't think so you know what i mean i think there's still room to you know look in the draft and draft somebody because james is on a one-year contract if he's going to be a one-year player then of course you have room to um you know still draft somebody groom that dude let him be like a an additional piece kind of like cedric wilson was let him be an additional piece um and when it's time for james to walk at his one-year contract then you got your new guy to come in and just make a big play there what i like about this is that it's not like we have you know like a full-time slot guy like if we would have signed cole beasley or something to be like a full-time slot guy um, then C.D. Lamb would have to be outside guy all the time. What I like about James Washington or this James Washington signing, what it does is that, hey, we have a player that can play inside and outside. That means C.D. Lamb is going to continue to play inside and outside. So in times to where, you know, Gallup is going to be playing the flanker and James is going to be lining up split or something like that, then, hey, C.D. Lamb can, can play the slot. And then those dudes can interchange. You know, whatever the offense needs, we can move those dudes around and do whatever we have to do when it's time to do it. You understand? Uh, so that's some of the bright side stuff about it. I don't think we paid too much. I ain't really see the numbers and the particulars and things like that, but I'm sure we'll uh, get some more information and one of my YouTube cohorts will gladly cover that for you. You understand? Um, I ain't want to hold y'all too long, man. I just wanted to come out and just say this and, you know, uh, love on y'all and give y'all this information that I found when I was watching James Washington or whatever. So, hey, appreciate y'all. This ain't me trying to hype James Watch because I know it's going to be some people in the chat. But, like, Vodge, but they're going to be like, they're going to be like, but Vodge, why you hyping up James Washington like he's going to be Amari Cooper or something? And, no, he's, he's not going to be that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that uh, James Washington is going to be Amari Cooper or, or, or that he's an Amari Cooper replacement. He's just going to simply be James Washington and that this wide receiver core is going to simply look different. That's all I can say about that. All right. Um, follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, hey, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to be the only one talking about this. Go watch some of my um, my. Dallas Cowboy YouTube co-workers and stuff like that. I'm sure they're going to be covering it. Skywalk Steel is going to be covering it in the morning. All right? Y'all hold it down with the Doski, Woski, and the Peaceski, Weeski, man. Until next time, man. Peace. Volume.